Namaste beloveds, this is Mother Wit Wisdom and I'm doing this, I'm going to call it a show, <laughs> I'm doing this show um, simply because time has passed and I said I was going to be doing more shows and I'm led to do this one. Um, I did a reading, the reading was after I woke up with, um, from a dream and in this dream, what I brought with me out of it was entering the nodes. And I'm like, huh? Entering the nodes. And I immediately, you know, meditated on this. And then I called um, my spiritual elder, Kwame Sunhorse, and I discussed it with him. And he's really into astrology and and so forth and so on. And so the nodes are what's in your birth chart. They're the stars, um, they're lunar nodes, and they're solar nodes. And you have to make sure which house the nodes are in and so forth and so on. Now, I thought the dream was for me, but... The dream, according to him, was very specific to him. Um, it was dealing with Piscean energy, and it was dealing a lot with movement and which house you're in. A lot of times, beloveds, most of us, because of what I'll say, religious beliefs or religious convictions, or religious teachings are not into astronomy or astrology at all and this needs to be rectified in order for you to truly know yourself you need to investigate every single avenue that Creator gave you in order to see yourself in order to know yourself and in order to know the wholeness that is the Creator and how the Creator thinks and sees things and has aligned and arranged things for us. And astrology is one of those things. Having your birth chart done is one of those things. These are the ways the most ancient of our ancestors lived. They didn't do anything without consulting nature, without seeing what they could see, what the, and a lot of people call these superstitions, but I'm here to tell you that the way the indigenous used divination, used their intuition, used nature to allow them to learn it should serve us, you know, that, that should really be where we're looking to, to gain education and information about ourselves. Right now, I'm sure everybody hears as above, so below, and you've been hearing about the planets aligning, you've been hearing about the shifts, that planetary shifts that are getting ready to happen, the evolutionary shifts that are getting ready to happen. You see what's going on in the world, what is seems to be chaos is actually measured process. Um, and that process was prophesied about long, 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 long time ago, over thousands of years, um, beloved, before names were known um ancestors have talked about flying machines and and the great spider that spin the web all over the world that's the world wide web beloved and and i got that from grandfather <laughs> yeah, i stole it anyway um this particular show is about entering into the nodes. <laughs> it's about understanding 
the grids and the ley lines in your life. It's about learning to connect the dots. It's really another way of understanding yourself, presenting information that may resonate with memories that you have, ancient memories that can awaken you because they're, they're laying dormant, waiting on you to find some information or, or get an aha moment that resonates them or resurrects them or reawakens or reactivates them. Um, and I'm going to share with you briefly um, the cards that I pulled on this particular Entering the Nodes um, deal. And the first card is the Night of Fire. I hope you can see the Night of Fire. And I love it because, first of all, I love it. It's a brother. <laughs> and he's got this serious look on his face. This serious look, you know. And I'm like, wow. The Night of Fire is about passion first of all fire in this deck and this is a deck by i guess i should have said that doreen virtue here we go doreen virtue and this is her angel deck angel tarot deck by doreen virtue and rodley valentine okay this particular card the night of fire is about going forward it is about moving you see the horse there you got to look at the symbolism of the horse you've got to look at most of the colors are golden there's water there so there's emotion I see a, sta a sandstorm in the back back there um, back here and there's, there's a lot going going on in this in this card but there's also a self-assuredness of the rider of this horse this knight this knight knows who he is this knight knows what he is capable of and he's searching he's searching to fulfill a personal mission that's what i feel and he's restless to kind of get to it and that goes back to the thing with um understanding that the universe is a womb and we are growing and we are processing and we are maturing and the cycle is birth death and rebirth and understanding that that is where immortality lies. And that we are beings that have always existed in a formless state. And we're now in form. In order to know ourselves more, in order to gain back our strength, in order to illuminate the soul force within us. And this night of fire is saying that we need to light ourselves on fire. We need to get on that white horse for ourselves. And we need to charge. We need to find the mission that we were created and designed for. The ones that we have been training for. It takes a knight a long time to become a knight. He has to go through a lot of training. He has to most likely all the time be a squire for someone, which means he has to be trained. And he has to be groomed from the ground up. And if you look at, if you look at the evolution of man, and I'm not speaking of Darwin here, I'm speaking of the maturing process that is happening from, say, caveman to spiritual man. There's a lot going on, beloveds. And right now, this Aquarian age, we're in a very magical time. And all of the energy that has come before us 
is available to us to pull from, to extract strength from, to look at with faith and to understand that cycles repeat and that we've had hell on earth for a while now and we're due for another golden age. But that golden age has to be conceived. It has to be implanted and it has to be nurtured and then it has to be given birth to and then it has to be maintained and, and taken care of. And that is what this particular card spoke to me of. Um, I'm going to leave it right there. The next card was the page of water. Page of water, beloveds. Page of water. And I want you to see what's there. I want you to see the shark. I want you to see the dolphins. I want you to see the orca. And I want you to see the angelic or spirit or water undine or diva or whatever you choose to call her and I want you to know for me this this particular page of water is about new life it, it's about being born it's it's about creating it's about creation it's about finding the things that make life team when you see water Water is always about spirit and emotions um, in the tarot deck. And this page of waters, to me, if you look at this, the, 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 the dolphin is above water, the shark is out of the water, the orca is out of the water, and only the small fish are under the water. And, beloved, that speaks to me. That, that speaks to me. That means our highest self needs to, to rise. We have been so submerged in our emotions and running from them and not dealing with them that we need to connect with our emotions. We need to understand that we are amphibious. We're like, we're like frogs. We're like the dolphin. We can breathe underwater and we can come up for air and still be in our emotions. The emotions are the same way. You can, you can drown in your emotions. You can swim in them. You can play in them. Or you can rise up out of them. It, it's all up to you what you do with your emotions and how you feel. Also, this card is, these animals are migratory animals. They are very intuitive, they're very sensitive, they're very friendly, all except that shark. <laughs> and if you really know your animals, you know that that dolphin and that orca can handle that shark, which means there's nothing that's going to come at you that you are not prepared for or that you don't have guides to help, to guide you to safety over. So, beloveds, this is a very, very powerful card. This card also, according to Doreen Virtue, means that a new person is entering your life. And for me, in this particular reading, that new person is, is you. That new person is you. You are learning to feel your emotions. You are learning to deal with life as it presents itself. And you're starting to see past the illusions, past the lies, past the denial, past the greed of what for wealth, for physical wealth. And you're starting to feel a need for a deeper spiritual connection beyond religion. Because religion is crashing. Because it no longer has the history to support it. With the World Wide Web, 
History is easily researched. History is easily verified. Facts are easily checked. One of the things that also comes with the, the page of water is that sometimes we have to come down out of our loftier thoughts, our higher thoughts, and we actually have to look at our, our emotions. We actually have to feel our emotions. We have to connect with them in order to, to breathe, to breathe spiritually, to revive ourselves, to resuscitate ourselves, to get what we need, beloveds. We're less than angels, less than God, I should say. But we have the ability to feel. We have the ability to process those feelings. We have the ability to manifest so that we can feel what we want to feel. That is a gift. Many see it as a curse. It's not a curse when you learn to control your thoughts. It's not a curse when you learn to use affirmations and positivity rather than the negative, self-hating, self-defeating, victimizing language that we have been taught. You know, that's another reason why the native language is denied a, a people, a conquered people, because there are words in there that gives that people strength. There are words there that have meaning that's not in the conquering nation's vocabularies, whether that's religious or, or whatever. But language is very important, beloveds. Language is used to make you feel. Language is used to make you think, and your thoughts make you feel. Understand the the way it works and understand that you're never alone beloveds there's there's always guides to help the next card is the king of air and i want you to see again this card the king of air and again, it's, it's a brother riding a unicorn. And there are a total of eight unicorns. There's seven in the background that are charging forward. And this particular king is leading them, but he is not in the water. He is on the land. Um, and he has a determination about him. And he's sitting that unicorn so pretty. And, beloveds, I want you, once again, to understand the numbers of eight and the number of seven and the number seven. And I want you to do your own um, research and due diligence on those numbers. And, beloveds, I also want you to know that this card, um, according to Doreen Virtue, Ask us to speak our mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. And beloved, kings are very diplomatic. Kings are aware of their communities and their kingdoms. Kings do what's best, not for themselves, but for those that they serve. Kings serve. Understand that there's the position of the king. Those who are placed in rulership, they have they are the powers and the principalities on this earth. Okay? Those that are ruling right now are the powers and principalities on this earth. And I know we want to I said, let's crucify the hell out of them right now. But 
they are serving their purpose. And their purpose is to show us a reflection of who and what we've given power to. Who and what and how we've given our power away. We have empowered men to rule over men. Can't be done. Cannot be done in, in this non-spiritual state. In, in this period of our growth. It, it cannot be done. The things that need to be activated are not activated yet. We don't have, we don't know who we are. We're still killing our brother. We're still raping women. We're still murdering and putting people in jail. We're still stealing water and, and killing the earth. We are not ready yet for the so-called promised land. And it's not going to happen overnight. But we are in the beginning stages of it, beloved. But we have to conceive it. We have to be able to conceive it. You have to be able to think and see it and know that the changes that you want to see. Again, this is the king of air, king of your thoughts, the ruler of your own thoughts. Air is the thoughts, it's conscious and subconscious thoughts. And it's time to be brilliant. It's, it's time to be professional. It's time to be diplomatic. It's time to begin getting yourself ready to be a ruler, even if it's a ruler of yourself. Also to be a subject, a subject of spirit, spirit's will over your own. This is a learning time, beloved. Get yourself in, mo in check. Check yourself. What's going on with you? Are you so lost in the distractions of this world that you don't see the evolutionary changes that are taking place? Is everybody else growing, maturing, changing? And you're staying the same? Are you still stuck in the same place that you were, say, five, ten years ago? Are you still thinking about the same things? Because time has moved on, beloved. And you're still back there. And you need to be here so that you can go ahead. The last card, beloved, is a card that I always get, um, I'll say, seven times out of ten, I always get the strength card. This is card number 11 um, in this deck. And this is the Archangel Ariel. Archangel Ariel. And Ariel is riding on a tiger. And there is this opening back here with a being in it. There's this wonderful blue rain castle and background with a rainbow back here. And to me, I, I don't know, this, I call it twilight. I'll just call it twilight. This is twilight. This is between times. I see the doves here and I see this, this globe here like the world. I looked up Ariel and Ariel is the lion of God the lion or lioness of God and that spoke volumes to me and on all the strength cards you'll see the you'll see a symbolization of the lion the lion also symbolizes the sun um, it's a solar reference or some symbolic of, of the sun and that's another thing, beloved, know what you see and what it represents and what it means, because it could be the symbol 
that is the message itself and nothing else on that card but the symbol you know just like it could be the archangel Ariel who is not only the messenger but the message in this case um the lion of god when you when you hear when you speak with religious people you always hear about the lion you always hear people comparing themselves to the lion about uh let's see samson beating the lion and 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 the honeycomb inside the lion that's symbology that solar reference with the honey okay that there, there's a deep meaning in that don't get lost in the story understand the symbols and what it means understand the strength remember i said strength solar strength cycles seasons then you understand the story if you understand who samson was and what his locks would, were you understand if you understand what a Nazarite is and the thought of killing this lion, this dead body and everything else, it there's so much there, um, beloveds. And you have to take the time. You have to find the interest. You have to want to know. That's where that, that, that night came in with the passion. You know, you, you have to go about these things, go about searching for yourself with a passion. This should be your passion. It should be your passion more than Madden or football game or video game or, or going to work or anything else. Because knowing yourself is key to your personal development. You cannot do yourself or anyone else any good without you really knowing who you are. Knowing what you can do. Knowing your potential. Exploring your potential. Being passionate about your feelings, your rights, your thoughts, your heart, your feelings, your right to express yourself. Be passionate about these things because right now that's what this world calls for. It calls for you to be passionate. Are sheep passionate? Sheep are not passionate. They're docile. They're accepting. Whatever you do, okay, bye. Be courageous. Be bold. Be brilliant. Shine, beloved. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Okay? Page of waters. Get into the deep waters. Get into your deepest emotions. Find what trauma is there. Do the healing. Understand that they're guides to help you with the healing. Understand that whatever you went through is behind you. And you need to move forward into deeper expressions of yourself. Into deeper knowledge of yourself. Okay? You, you need to work on your backstroke and your breaststroke. And you need to get yourself where you can breathe physically mentally emotionally and spiritually your breath is your savior okay that is the key to your life force and when you're feeling low learn to breathe there are several meditations on breathing and i'll share um I'll share a couple in the the bottom of the the write up thing um, about that, but that's that card. And again, 
Speak your truth. Speak your truth with confidence. Learn to be diplomatic. Learn to compromise. Learn to see both sides. Learn to be wise. Learn to listen. Really listen. And not just to reply or to sound intelligent. But really listen so that you know what is being said to you. And if you need clarity, ask for it. Do not be afraid to ask for clarity. Ask for clarity. Ask it physically. Pray for it. Ask for revelations. Ask to see signs. Ask, beloveds. And again, this, this last one. Have the strength to be yourself. Have the strength to be yourself. Look for that lion and understand that male lions, what do they do when they see each other? What do they do when they enter each other's territory? I want you to really understand what being a lion of God is. Or a lioness of God, I should say. Um, beloveds, and any time you get on your particular lion or you step in that energy or that field or you try to activate that strength within you, that divine strength, understand that you really have to own it. You have to know it's there. You have to reach down in even if you have to go through everything that you've gone through in your life, every trauma, every time somebody talked about you or said something or hurt your feelings or killed somebody that you loved or whatever, understand the strength it takes to still be here, to still be standing in this system. The system is meant to knock you on your ass. It wants you not to fight. It wants you to be so timid, so afraid of your own shadow even. We've been taught to be afraid of our shadows. We've been taught not to consider ourselves beautiful. We've been taught not to consider ourselves smart. We've been taught because of the color of our skin <laughs> that we're less than or that we came from slaves. Like that's a bad thing. Slaves built this world. Slaves built the United States. Slaves built the pyramids in Egypt. Slaves. That is, that is not, that is a caste system. That is something set up by men, determined by men. Your value, you don't get to determine your value. Although the divine said you are children, of, you are his children. Beloveds, we have so far to go. We have so far to go. And I, I know, like I said, one of the things I was telling um, grandfather was that um, I can feel something getting ready to happen. Um, I've been shown a lot of different things, but what's getting ready to emerge is going to be something from our collective feelings that we have given birth to. And we're going to have to tend to it. Whatever this is that we have given birth to with our fear and with our thoughts of fear, with our thoughts of anger, we're getting ready to have to deal with it. And that's not that doesn't take rocket science. That doesn't take a psychic. That 
It doesn't take anything but reasoning. We have the ability to bring about the changes that we desire. But in order to do that, we have to, like I said, beloveds, we have to have open communication with ourselves. Find ways to speak with yourself. Find ways to open yourself up. Get a tarot deck. Start reading your horoscope. Look into your natal charts. Go online and see what entering the nodes means. Go online. The, and another thing about the nodes, glad that clicked. Um, the ley lines and the grids. Just like the planets are aligning, um, beloveds, as above, so below. Um, ancient ley lines and grids, earth grids, are changing, um, are aligning, I won't say changing, are aligning once again. There are new portals being opened or ancient portals being opened and other ancient portals being closed. You need to know this in order to recognize what's getting, what's going on and what's getting ready to happen as far as land masses um, and the earth changes that are coming. And beloveds, we need communities. Again, I can't, I can't stress enough how much we need each other and we've got to learn to depend on each other and trust each other and we've got to start seeing each other as family again and testing if you need to test somebody test their spirit test them by spirit who they are the, their spirit won't lie look at who they are look at their past look at who they love not just what comes out of the mouth, you know, not just that face that they put on because you're new and because they want to impress you, but look at their soul. Look into their eyes, look and see who they are. Can you trust them? Are they worthy of your love? Uh, can they support you? Can they comfort you? Can you support and comfort them? All of this is very important right now because relationships are going to be key and vital. One of the things that, and, and this is coming from Spirit, and she wants you to know this, that when you go back to the most ancient of the gods and goddesses that we um, have known on this earth and that we study, and from the different worlds, continents, ethnicities, or whatever. There's also, there's always a male and a female. There's always an interaction between the two. There's always a relationship that happened or is happening. There's always a becoming of something other than, higher than. Learn to look into these stories, these archetypes, these symbolic roles, and understand that when I say relationships are important, even the gods and the goddesses had mates. They were united, um, male and female. Um, from whatever cosmology you're looking at, there was always male and female, husband and wife, mother and father, you know, mother and son, mother and daughter, father and son. There, there's so much there. And we can learn a great deal from the relationships that happened in the past. And I want you to understand that 
language is very important. Again, I'm saying that and stressing that. Language is very important, beloveds. A lot of language has changed. Um, a lot of things that you may need to find on the web has a different spelling or it's under a different name. If you don't know the ancient name of something, you only get the, the modern information on it. If you don't know the names of the biblical lands that were used in the ancient times, then anybody can tell you anything about the history. You may think that certain things don't even exist because you have no knowledge of that name for that place or for that time period. Due diligence, beloveds. Um, congregate with communities that are, are very similar to your own thoughts and your own thinking. Um, and again, this is going to do it, beloveds. I'm not going to make this a long, <laughs> drawn out um, show. I just wanted to share this. I wanted to share the grid lines. I wanted to share, um, be aware of the eclipses of the moon phases of the solar flares. Be aware of your environment. Outer space is your environment just like the earth is, just like your house is, just like your bedroom is. All of this is your environment. You're not in somebody else's business. You share a world, you share a universe. Start living and thinking like that. What you do affects others, what others do affects you. Be compassionate, be empathic, be sympathetic, be willing to listen, be less selfish. And if they're narcissistic, run, 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 run. Because that, that narcissistic energy is, is very draining on an empath. Because an empath is going to try to sit there and say, why? <laughs> why why you know why 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 do you feel like this why do you think like this why why well let me show you there's other way you can try but when you find yourself being drained beloved run in the opposite direction close the door set boundaries Stick to it because they're distracting you from your evolutionary growth. Okay? And and that's going to cost you your life. Okay? So it, it's very, it's very, very important. Um, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> Namaste, beloveds. And... Be love and be blessed. This is Mother with Wisdom. And again, I will put Ariel on um, the bottom of the page. And it will also be on my um, Facebook page. And I'll be coming back with you when I'm, when I'm led to. Like I said, I'm going to start doing more videos um, like this on YouTube. As well as doing my radio shows summer spring is here I should also say that um, today is my mom's birthday my mother died when I was 18 my brother was 14 um, she would have been 75 years old today and I just want to say I feel you mama and I am so grateful to have come through you. Uh, you you taught me a strength that I couldn't have gotten from anyone else. Anyone else. And the times were all not always 
most of the times were not good times. I'll put it that way. But the lessons have brought me this far. And from those lessons, I've taught my children. And I tell my grandchildren what I learned, what you taught me. And they know your name. They know your name, Juanita. They know you. And I just want to say again, thank you, beloveds. And I'm grateful to be a vessel to serve. Um, and I will continue um, learning and sharing um, and being tr as transparent as I can. Um, if you have something you'd like to know or ask, please feel free. Um, on Facebook, I'm Valerie Ames. On Blog Talk Radio, I'm Mother with Wisdom. Um, and you can find me, Google me under either of those names, and I'm sure you'll come up with something. Um, be love and be blessed, beloveds. Have a wonderful spring. Enjoy yourself.